Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense and today I want to talk about the NBT duffel bags from 511. So I have two of them here. I have kind of a medium sized one uh, here and then the smaller sized one here. I got these about a year, a year and a half ago, so I've had them for some time, used them on a couple different trips. Uh, originally, I purchased them because I wanted them as a weekender bag, you know, just a bag to throw some clothes in for a weekend, because uh, I didn't really have a good, like, weekend duffel bag. And so I bought them both, I got them on sale, so I got them, I think, for around half off, I think I paid about 35 bucks for this one, about 45 48 dollars for this one. And I didn't really know what size to go with, so I just got them both to just kind of check it out. Uh, it turns out the smaller size is the correct weekend bag size. So we'll go through them. They're identical except for, for volume uh, and, and just kind of go through through the features here. So we'll start with the small one. Like I said, they're the, pretty much the same bag it's just in terms of volume that is the difference. So we'll show you the small one and then we'll and then we'll just briefly look at the slightly larger one. So this is the smallest one that it comes in. Uh, I think this is about a 500 denier nylon, maybe a little lighter. I honestly don't know what the exact numbers are. I'm sure you can look that up on the good old interwebs. Uh, I will say this this logo here is a little obnoxious to me. Um, it's a little gaudy. I could just I could just do without that. That's me, but whatever. Uh, this is the double tap uh, pattern or color scheme just so you know. I kind of like it. It's kind of like a bluish gray. I don't know if that comes across on camera clearly. But simple zip top. Uh, on the inside here you have this little see-through mesh kind of zip pouch that you can store. You can store stuff in here. Uh, when you open it up there's nothing in here. Okay, It's just a big duffel bag and they have this little detach mesh pouch here. Excuse me. Right there. That you can uh, put stuff in. And it detaches here with these clips which you should be able to see that right there uh, so you can remove that that's removable you know they say you can put like laundry or toiletries or whatever in that I don't know anybody who packs without a toiletries bag so I, I don't you know I don't really put too much in here uh, but it's there you can remove it if you don't like it okay other than that it's just a decent uh, sized little weekend bag and you can fit a pair of shoes you know a couple changes of clothes everything you'd need for for a weekend or even like maybe up to four days like a long weekend you could really legitimately fit in this bag so it's it's fantastic in that regard it's the perfect size the handle they have a velcro closure here to keep together and they have some kind of uh, I'm guessing it's plastic some kind of plastic stiffener in here which lets the handle retain its form when you pick it up and uh, and grip it together which I like that that was a nice feature that was uh, well thought out you know because usually it'll like come apart and it sags on your hand it causes uh, I don't know just discomfort but they did a good job of, of stiffening that handle the other thing I really like about this bag is that they put handles all over it so they got a a drag handle on this side and they got one on this side I like that because when you're putting it in and out of a vehicle um, you can pick it up by both ends if you need to or when I put it in a vehicle I can grab this handle and then pull it out I just think that's a that's a cool feature I enjoy that I use those all the time I wish more duffel bags had kind of end handles like that and these are no nonsense handles I mean if you've I owned a 511 bag in the past, you know how they stitch their handles, but they're, you know, all intense stitched for way more weight than I would ever put in this bag, so it's it's just a nice feature. Uh, on the front here, they have a little Velcro patch of Molly, so you could put another pouch on or whatever. This is just a tiny zip pouch for just something you want to put on the outside, maybe like a phone charger or whatever, you know, something that you need a little quicker access to. They have these nice little compression straps here. Uh, they don't go all the way around the bag or anything like that. They're just, you know, kind of tiny little, you can, excuse me, it's very difficult to do the opposite way. You can just tighten them up uh, to cinch down the bag. They have those two as well on the opposite side. Okay, right here. So you could cinch down and compress the bag if you have a smaller load in there and you wanna you wanna keep it tight. So that's a nice feature. The Velcro or the Velcro, the zipper on top for this top bar here. It's a, it's a over duty zipper. I mean it's it's a heavy duty zipper. It even has a locking capability on it. You can see that right there. So you could put a small luggage lock through there. Um, again, I don't know if these are YKK, I'm not seeing any markings, but it's a heavy duty zipper that you're not going to have any problems with. It does have a removable uh, shoulder strap thing. 
Uh, again, this is Velcro and Molly, so if you want to put something there, you could. This is thickly padded, super comfortable, again, for the loads that this is handling. Uh, everything else is overbuilt, so the only thing that's not overbuilt is the actual material, right? The, the straps, the handles, everything could handle a lot more weight than what you're going to put in this bag, and honestly, than what I would trust the material itself to hold, because this is just kind of a, it's not cheap, it's not chintzy, it's certainly a higher quality material, but I wouldn't like put plates in here, right? Or something that's going to have a significant amount of weight uh, to carry this. This is a fantastic weekend bag. It served me on many trips since I purchased it, and uh, been super happy with it. I would I would definitely recommend it to you if you're in line for like a weekend bag, or if you want a primo expensive gym bag, uh, that that could work for you as well. So it's a slightly bigger cousin. Again, now this one I just took on a trip for a week, six days, six days a week, something like that and it served great. Um, I was able to fit all the changes of clothes, everything I needed into this for a week easily. So even if you wanted to pack one bag and for you and your spouse to go on a weekend somewhere, uh, you would just need this bag. Like you could easily fit, even if she packs heavy, gentlemen, uh, you could still fit everything you need in here. It, it, it's really a great bag for that. Again, uh, Same thing, right? Huge open duffel area here. This weird pouch that you can keep or remove or whatever. Uh, they put a zip pouch, zip mesh pouch up here, which I have a toothbrush in there. Again, front pocket, it's gonna zip open. Slightly bigger, so I have a phone charger in here and a pen and some Listerine, it looks like, but slightly bigger. It's compression straps, Molly and the Velcro, end handles again. And a large uh, shoulder strap. Again, same thing, right? Just slightly larger. So those are the NBT bags from 511. I enjoy them. If you're again in the market and you need just a good duffel like luggage bag. Oh, last thing I will say, I flew with this one uh, more than once, and it hasn't really shown anywhere. I don't know if I do that a lot. Uh, I don't know if it would hold up, but I've flown with it at least once. I think twice and you know there and back and it held up just fine made it through the airport didn't get beat up didn't get scuffed up uh, the bottom isn't showing any extreme amounts of I mean it's really showing nowhere at all uh, so if you wanted to fly with these or take them through the airport they are tough enough to hold up for that I have different bags that I prefer to fly with however if you wanted to fly with these you absolutely could uh, that wouldn't be an issue and the smaller one would for sure uh, qualify as a carry-on that would for sure meet the size requirement. The larger one probably would not. Well, may maybe. It might. I honestly don't know what the measurements are, but it might. So, I'll have to say, I really like these bags. I would recommend them to you, especially if you're looking for just a good quality luggage bag that you need to have in and out of the car. You need to just store stuff in generally. Till then, do brave deeds and endure.